So howdy everyone, it's Andrew. I thought I'd do a quick rundown on uh, the video setup we've had here. What worked well, what didn't work well. Um, this is the main playing room. What we have here is we've got a microphone stand with a webcam attached. You can get a little adapter. In this case we've actually uh, got an adapter to take the uh, microphone stand thread and adapt it to the standard quarter inch by 20, which is what uh, all camera stuff uses. So that quarter inch by 20, you can either mount a webcam on it directly, or in our case, we mounted a selfie stick to give us some extra throw. Um, in this case, you know, the, the microphone stands, they're great, they're cheap, they're like 20 bucks. Uh, the only issue you might run into is trying to get them out far enough because they'll tend to tip over. Other than that, it's a couple of $8 tripods with uh, webcams on them and a nice microphone. So this is a, a USB microphone Nick recommended to me. Um, and then on top, so once you've got that, you're going to need to deal with, you know, USB hubs. You need to experiment, you need to practice because you run into things where if you have too many devices on the, universe, on the USB uh, bus, I hate saying USB bus, it reminds me of ATM machine. Anyway, if you have too many devices on the bus, you'll find that you have some troubles with OBS. So, uh, so this is the overview. What's happening is this machine is not streaming to YouTube. This machine is streaming to the machine in the other room, which we're just about to go to. This setup here was bulletproof. It worked pretty great. We only have to make sure the players don't move the board. Um, and other than that, like it just worked and went fine, and this part was solid. So let's go check out the other room where problems happen. All right, so this is the commentator room. This is where we had some trouble. Um, so the first thing that went wrong is you'll notice that this is a lamp. This is a lamp that has had the lamp part cut off and another selfie stick zip tied to it. I own two more selfie sticks than I would ever want to own, which is zero. Um, but the same idea applies here. The problem is uh, that I had originally packed and prepared to have the pros do commentary on a demo board. The pros liked doing commentary at a table board because standing up for the whole two hours at a demo board is really exhausting. So they were like, can we please have a table board? And since I could make it work, we made it work with that, although it's not really ideal. Um, same issues apply, although the, unlike a microphone stand, this is, there's no way to fix any of these joints. Everything is spring powered. So if it moves, you, you can't fix it there. Sometimes the weight of the camera will make it sag. You have got all these problems. So spend 20 bucks, get a microphone stand. It's the way to go. Um, other than that, we've got a standard USB microphone here hidden behind the gobos. And then we've got uh, the laptop here, which is taking all of these signals. So we've got, and then one other thing we got was we picked up a, a cheap little USB light or a little uh, LED light to, to sort of cut down on the shadows you get from overhead fluorescence. Overhead fluorescence are great, but you kind of need a little fill to, to, help, to help ease up the shadows. Anyway, over here we've got a camcorder. And the important thing about this camcorder is you've got your uh, HDMI out on the camcorder. It has to go into one of these. This is an HDMI to USB adapter. What it basically does is it takes that signal, turns it into a USB signal that OBS can just take natively. Um, if we'd had professional broadcasting software, we would have been able to use the HDMI signal natively, but we didn't, so we don't. So that's what we got. We're making the best with what we can. Again, the, the, the major goal here was to be sure that we could get 80% of the, uh, 80% of the effect of Baduk TV, you know, our Weichi TV videos at like 20% of the cost. So the whole setup here, not counting the laptops, costs us about $350, maybe $400 if you add in the microphones. Um, so that, that is, is pretty great. What we, I'm, I'm really happy with what we could get for the budget we were on. If I'd had a bit more money, I can think of a couple things I'd improve. The first is probably to get professional video recording software. So we had everything set up in OBS. And OBS, the only problem with it really is that we couldn't edit scenes without switching to them, which means that you, people see you dragging stuff around. It's kind of, anyway, it's not the best. The other thing that I would improve on is I would make sure that, um, uh, that I'd replace that with a microphone stand. And it might be worthwhile to change all the USB microphones for uh, microphones that actually have the usual industry standard XLR, three and a half millimeter, and then get a mixing board so that you could actually do some mixing because uh, the things that happened in this room worked fairly well, but um, when we tried to take this stuff, so we had to shift our plans on the fly and do, for instance, the commentary with uh, Hajin and Nick, we shifted that to the university auditorium, and this stuff didn't really travel well. Uh, for instance, our microphones couldn't interface with any of the university's AV systems. You know, you'd have all these other problems because you're trying to do essentially a USB webcam-based stream when their AV systems are set up for more professional stuff. So that was one problem. Um, what am I forgetting? I'm forgetting 
the last step. So I met, we showed you the other camera. That camera is streaming to this computer. So this computer in here is running the stream itself. So if you see, we've got, we get it all set up here with the live control room. Everything's ready to go. So this is running a Nginx server, and the Nginx server is able to pick up that stream and broadcast it. So here is the feed that we're playing in VLC, and VLC is just replaying the stream that's being sent to us from the other room. Then we can capture that as a source, composite that in with the commentator overlays, with the other overlays. It does great stuff. All right, that's, I think, the whole overview. This part worked fine. Using Nginx on another server to do that compositing kept us from having to buy any video switching hardware, and video switching hardware is like 10 grand. So that was quite outside the realm of possibilities. So uh, if, you, if you have some software chops, you can set up an RTMP server. This is the way to do it. Um, it's, it's the way to do it on a budget, that's for sure. If you have the money to get video switching software, it might be worth the expenditure, but I would probably spend that on um, uh, different cameras and uh, different mics so that they're a little bit more rugged. Uh, it is a little bit of a fragile setup if the stream drops, if anything like that. We did have some stuttering. Uh, we were also originally monitoring the stream in the chat and watching it on this laptop as well, which I'm pretty sure was responsible for the couple second skips that we'd hit every now and then. Um, but by and large, I think that the setup proved itself out pretty great. Any other questions, shoot me an email or uh, post a comment. Thanks, guys.